Avoid making these six mistakes with a narcissist when you want revenge on him. Narcissistic individuals lurk in every corner, ready to exploit those around them. They infiltrate schools, workplaces, churches, and even our inner circles of family and friends. Some of us find ourselves entangled in intimate relationships with these narcissists. So, if you've identified one or have a strong suspicion about someone you know, then this video is tailored for you. Today, I'm here to outline several actions you should steer clear of when dealing with a narcissist, especially those who've already unveiled their true colors as deceitful, manipulative, and self-serving abusers. How you carry yourself around a narcissist sends them a clear message about how they can treat you. Ideally, you want the narcissist to actively avoid crossing paths with you. While they may still engage in gossip or smear campaigns, they'll think twice before attempting any of their manipulative tactics on you. It's crucial to recognize that when confronting a narcissist, you're facing a coward who's far more terrified of you than you realize. If you're not yet familiar with this aspect, I highly recommend watching my previous video where I delve into the paranoia and insecurities that plague narcissists. Now let's delve into six key actions you should never indulge a narcissist in or perform in their presence. Nourishing the narcissist's ego. Firstly, refrain from shedding tears. Narcissists lack empathy, rendering them incapable of offering sympathy. Never seek solace from a narcissist, for they possess none to offer. Instead, they thrive on negativity and the suffering of others. Thus, when tears fall in their presence, you unwittingly nourish their sinister ego. Your emotional display does not stir the narcissist. Rather, it emboldens them, instilling a sense of satisfaction and power as they witness your vulnerability. Voice your truth. Secondly, do not enable their falsehoods. Narcissists habitually fabricate stories, making it relatively easy to detect their lies. Challenge them. Refrain from silently acquiescing or endorsing their deceitful narratives. Should you harbor doubts regarding a past event, do not merely conform to the narcissist's version of events. Instead, assertively express your uncertainty or, if you possess clarity regarding the matter, do not shy away from contradicting their account. Narcissists abhor opposition in any form. It is imperative to vocalize your dissent or challenge their falsehoods. Despite their attempts to trivialize their lies, treat them as serious matters and refuse to be complicit. Failure to do so will only embolden them to fabricate larger falsehoods while casting you as an accomplice. Avoid rationalizing their behavior. Thirdly, refrain from making excuses for their misconduct. Narcissists habitually evade accountability for their wrongdoings. Thus, joining them in making excuses only exacerbates the situation. Allow them to acknowledge and face the repercussions of their actions. Narcissists meticulously calculate their every move and utterance. By offering excuses, you inadvertently deny the manipulative and abusive nature of the narcissist. While cognitive dissonance may pose a challenge, it is crucial not to dismiss the reality of abuse. Resist the temptation to accept the narcissist's feeble justifications for their behavior or to excuse them yourself. Doing so merely fortifies the narcissist's callousness and audacity. Futile attempts to reform. Farfly, avoid attempting to change a narcissist. Such endeavors play into the narcissist's hands, ultimately leading to your detriment. They willingly shift the burden onto you, manipulating you into believing that you possess the power to alter them. They may even insinuate that they require your assistance to attain happiness or find direction. However, it is not your responsibility and the narcissist will exploit your efforts to their advantage. Keep your secrets safe. Fifthly, 
Avoid sharing personal information with a narcissist. They are not trustworthy individuals, nor do they have your best interests at heart. Safeguard your secrets, aspirations, plans and desires from their prying ears. Resist aggression. Lastly, refrain from responding aggressively when interacting with a narcissist. They derive pleasure from provoking others and thrive on eliciting reactions. Any response, particularly one laced with aggression, only serves to bolster their victim narrative and cast you in a negative light. Maintaining a calm and composed demeanor in their presence is paramount. Detaching yourself emotionally deprives the narcissist of the opportunity to manipulate or incite a reaction from you. Reacting to their provocations merely provides them with ammunition to use against you. Therefore, mastering emotional control is essential when dealing with narcissists. Closing Remarks In conclusion, Mastering the art of navigating interactions with narcissists is crucial given their pervasive presence in our lives. However, fear not, for confronting them requires nothing more than trusting your instincts and maintaining emotional detachment. Narcissists are ill-equipped to handle individuals who exhibit disinterest or emotional detachment towards them, often prompting them to retreat. That wraps up our discussion for today. Did I overlook any key points? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this information valuable, don't hesitate to show your support by liking and sharing. Thank you for tuning in. Narcissists are one of the most dangerous types of people to deal with because they are manipulative and only see other people as tools to help them reach their own goals which they will only brag about and never actually achieve. They only see us as stepping stones. Narcissists see other people as nothing more than tools they can use to reach their own goals and objectives. Anyone who doesn't see you as a whole person with all of your thoughts and goals will never earn your respect. Narcissists need to be in charge all the time, and being close to someone they can't control is one of the most upsetting and unstable things for them. In addition, the narcissist would not be able to stand any of this person's other traits, making them a big problem for them. This person makes their life miserable and can drive narcissists crazy. It means they could lose, and narcissists hate losing. It's frustrating for them when they can't get what they want or get the person they want. Narcissists are hurt when they lose something, like a game, a job, or even a love relationship. It hits them hard and reminds them that they can't control everything or everyone. This is something that can happen no matter what. Somebody with the mindset of someone who can drive a narcissist completely crazy will have a lot of the traits that narcissists hate about other people. Still, I'd like to thank everyone who watched this movie before we even talk about that. I'd also like to welcome anyone who is new to this show and thank them for coming. The movie today will show you some personality traits that narcissists really don't like. Don't worry if you don't have all of them. If you can keep your cool, the narcissist will quickly lose interest in you if you have at least two of them. 1. People who don't cross their lines. The first person who can drive a narcissist crazy is someone who knows their limits and sticks to them. To put it another way, you should never think less of them. They don't want to do what other people tell them to do. Narcissists who try to push their will on these people will be strongly turned down. People who are set in their ways and won't give in are probably the ones that narcissists hate the most. Narcissists will get angry if someone tries to stop them from taking over other people's time or life. They'll go crazy over this. 2. Not scared. If someone meets the second requirement, they must not be afraid of the narcissist in any way. So, they don't have much trouble addressing or correcting the narcissist when they need to. To stop it, they would also tell them when they are lying or not being honest. 
People who are narcissists have a hard time getting along with others because they can't relax when they're with someone like this. 3. Someone who doesn't find the narcissist's antics interesting. The third sign is someone who is not impressed by the narcissist. This means they have not bought into the narcissist's false view of themselves. It takes them a long time to notice or praise the narcissist's good work. Before getting too close, people like them want to be sure that the person they're meeting is who they say they are. They're not in a hurry to meet new people or make new friends. Because of this, believing someone takes a lot more than a nice smile and a perfect appearance. 4. Someone who makes narcissists feel little. Lastly, someone who makes the ego think he or she is not important. Based on the other things I've talked about, it's clear that this person doesn't trust the narcissist and would try to keep the narcissist out of the situation as much as possible. This means that no one will ask them to come to their homes and they also won't accept narcissists' invitations. No matter how much time they have, this person doesn't want to spend with the narcissist. Because of this, they are more likely to ignore or grave rock the narcissist when they act in a strange way. 5. Someone who has done better in life than the ego. 5. Someone who is successful or has something the narcissist doesn't have. For example, one person might be married while the narcissist is single. It's also possible that the narcissist doesn't have a car or a house or the other person does. The narcissist might not be able to go on trips, but the other person might. Narcissists don't want other people to be able to have or do something that they can't, even if it's just a little thing. Narcissists are jealous people who don't like it when other people do better than them. Number 6. Someone with a free spirit. Someone is free-spirited if they enjoy life and do the things they love without caring what other people think. That's how we get to the character flaw. They don't care what other people think or how they look to other people. Another person who is the exact opposite of narcissism makes the narcissist sick because they can't stand being around them because they wish they were living their life the way that person is. This is called narcissistic envy. Nasty people don't like it when other people are always happy and free spirits are usually carefree and happy most of the time. People who are narcissists find it very annoying when other people show real happiness and joy. The thought of what these other people have makes the narcissist crazy because they can never have it. They don't like it when other people talk more than they do because it makes them feel less important. In any case, people who aren't afraid to say they're wrong are much more important. It makes narcissists happy to talk about how great they are and show off their achievements. A few of the things they are known for are complaining, rumors, and telling interesting stories. There are many lies that narcissists tell, and most of them are complete lies. Nasty people are afraid of people who talk a lot and tell the truth, because those people can get people's attention and focus on themselves because of how interesting they are. Really, everything comes down to one word, authentic. It's the thread that ties together all the traits I just talked about. Someone with authentic character is honest in every part of their life. They stick to a clear way of doing business. Everything you want is what you get when you work with them. Narcissists are dishonest and believe that everyone else is the same. The narcissist doesn't want anything good for you. The narcissist thinks that there should be no room in the world for real people. It must be true that all of them are lying. When these people act in these ways, the narcissist will get angry, irritated and uncomfortable, and they will have to hide behind their shell. My list of things to do is now over. The other good thing about this person is that they know more about how narcissists work. It is best for the narcissist to end a violent relationship. They know they can't trick this person. And what's worse, they know this person is likely to figure out who they really are. 
To stay away from people who fit this description, narcissists usually make a plan to leave or do everything they can to stay away from them. What these people have going for them is the truth, and narcissists hate the truth so much. This kind of person is honest with everyone they meet, as well as with themselves. The narcissist would stay away from them because they aren't afraid to tell or hear the truth. Narcissists are afraid of these people because they are everything that a narcissist is not. Narcissists do bad things, but people who have these traits or act in these ways can shine a light on them and stop them. If they want to control someone, all they can do is plant doubt and suspicion in the hopes that some of them will grow or that someone else will feel the same way about them. To get rid of this guy, they need to get him to work with them. When narcissists can't change or control someone, they hate them so much that they want to kill them. Especially for narcissists, people with a lot of the traits I've listed here today are their worst fear. For the reason that they are always honest, set clear limits, and aren't pleased by the narcissist. When the narcissist comes near, they don't show any fear. They are being honest. They are having a great time. There is a good sense of awe and reverence in them and in life. They can spot toxic people and stay away from them, even though this may not be the most important feature. Nasty people can't change things like this. That's all we have to do for today. Feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the box below. Thanks a lot for paying attention. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today, we embark on a journey into the intriguing realm of narcissistic behavior, the moment when they boldly declare they are 100% done with you. Have you ever pondered the authenticity behind someone's affection and care? This is a common struggle given the unique traits of narcissistic conduct. Show your support by hitting the like button as we delve into this topic. And if you haven't already, consider joining our community for deeper conversations. Your thoughts matter, so drop a comment below to share your ideas. But before we dive in, let me express our immense gratitude for your presence in our community. Your support means the world to us. If you've enjoyed our content and want to contribute to its growth, consider giving us a Kofi support. Your generosity fuels our ability to bring you more fascinating material. Every bit of support, no matter how small, is deeply valued. And for those joining our membership program, we have a special bonus. Your name will be featured in one of our upcoming videos. It's a small gesture to honor and thank the incredible individuals who make our work possible. Now, let's unravel the dynamics that unfold, especially in intimate relationships, when a narcissist takes the drastic step of severing ties. Their behavior becomes glaringly evident. Buckle up for this eye-opening experience. Building relationships doesn't follow the typical path for narcissists. Unlike most individuals who are driven by love, care, and a genuine desire to connect, narcissists substitute resentment, contempt, and even anger for these positive emotions. Unfortunately, this sets them apart in a negative way. Their struggle to maintain meaningful connections isn't a minor concern. It's a pervasive issue rooted in a deficiency of the intrinsic force that binds people together. Narcissists, feeling poorly about themselves, often exhibit behavior that others find peculiar. The erosion of strong ties essential for the strength and cohesion of our social groups is disheartening, contributing to the overall increase in narcissism. The alarming rise in narcissistic behavior within our culture deviates from the accepted norms of human interaction. Instead of nurturing love and affection, Narcissists' consistent negativity contradicts social standards. Although a narcissist may feign care, their perception and expression of concern significantly differ from what is considered typical. Their struggle to establish and maintain close relationships, as opposed to fostering love, underscores the pervasive issues associated with narcissism. 
The increasing prevalence of narcissistic behavior is alarming, signaling a shift away from our inherent inclinations toward love and connection, veering instead toward resentment and self-centeredness. It's not merely a matter of concern. Proactive measures are imperative. This trend underscores the importance of upholding the fundamental principles that bind us as a species – love, empathy, compassion, and connection. As we navigate these challenging times, it is crucial to actively combat the rise of narcissism and strive for a society founded on mutual respect and understanding. Narcissists often target those who continue to act from genuine intentions of love and concern. This is because human nature is inherently predisposed to love, care, and respect for one another. However, traumatic experiences during a narcissist's formative years reshape their perspective. Whether stemming from emotional mistreatment or abandonment, these experiences drive them to adopt a defensive and manipulative demeanor, believing it's crucial for survival. It's disheartening how their early life encounters lead them to replace a natural state of love and concern with a manipulative one. Narcissists employ an initial facade of love and affection as a calculated strategy to gain trust. This calculated imitation involves mimicking your behavior and interests, creating an illusion of familiarity and shared passions. Beneath this veneer of compatibility lies the narcissist's intrinsic inclination toward manipulation and exploitation, a core aspect of their character. They seamlessly blend in, utilizing their adept ability to mimic and mirror as powerful tools, until they deem the act unnecessary. The authentic self of a narcissist void of genuine love and affection, emerges when the charade is discarded. Despite appearing to be a perfect reflection of your persona, the narcissist's display is nothing but a performance. While feigning intimacy and emotional connections, they grapple with these sentiments, lacking a true understanding of them. In contrast to most people who derive strength from genuine love, Narcissists draw energy from causing emotional distress to others. The real harm begins when they cease pretending, revealing the extent of their deceit. It's a harsh reality check, and the disappointment is palpable when you realize they didn't genuinely share your interests and emotions. The person you thought you knew is a facade. Beneath that exterior lies an individual devoid of authentic love and affection. The charming, Caring persona was merely a pawn in their deceptive game. This sobering revelation often comes too late for those ensnared in a narcissist's web. Nevertheless, the initial step toward recovery involves understanding their tactics and the traits of a narcissist. Questions may arise, pondering if it's your fault or if they ever truly loved you. These questions stem from viewing the narcissist through the lens of a regular person. However, the revelation that they've been feigning disdain instead of love becomes evident. It's crucial to grasp that narcissists are incapable of reciprocating genuine love. In the midst of this painful connection, a yearning for affection from someone capable of feeling or expressing it may arise. Understanding that narcissists cannot provide the love and affection you deserve is essential. Narcissists may end a relationship for various reasons, such as a lack of true commitment, weariness of you, or an interest in someone else. They might have been engaging with someone else or replacing you during your time together. Acknowledging that you were merely an emotional source for them is painful, but it is crucial to recognize the genuine nature of a narcissist and commence the healing process. However, it's crucial to refrain from completely vilifying narcissists. Oversimplifying and stigmatizing them is counterproductive and disrespectful. Labeling them as demons mirrors their tendency to use negative attributes as a shield for their behavior. While acknowledging that someone may exhibit negative behavior, it's vital to understand our own role in relationships. Recognizing our imperfections 
is the initial stride toward personal growth. Although it might be convenient to label someone as a devil and place all the blame on them, such an approach is unfair and unhelpful. In any relationship, everyone plays a role and acknowledging our own shortcomings contributes to better interpersonal dynamics. Additionally, it's essential to remember that, despite their destructive actions, narcissists are individuals shaped by trauma and past experiences. While this perspective adds complexity, it doesn't excuse their actions. Moving on from a narcissistic relationship requires introspection and a firm resolve. It's disheartening when a narcissist withdraws their false intimacy. Reflecting on the signals we overlooked due to our desire to be with them is crucial. Self-deception often keeps us in unhealthy relationships and hinders our ability to leave them. Contemplating our own motivations and understanding why we tolerate unsatisfactory relationships is necessary for progress. The initial step involves valuing ourselves and refusing to settle for anything less than what we truly deserve. In conclusion, the healing process is a gradual journey. It's completely reasonable to require time to navigate the loss of the relationship and the person you once knew. While feelings of confusion and hurt are natural, it's crucial to keep progressing toward healthier relationships. Exating a narcissistic relationship may be challenging and time-consuming, but it offers an opportunity for significant personal growth. Confronting fears and uncertainties allows you to gain a better understanding of yourself and your desires in relationships. It's a chance to reconstruct your life based on your needs, liberate it from the influence of the narcissist. Most importantly, it's an opportunity to cultivate self-love, self-respect, and an awareness of your intrinsic value, while holding others accountable for showing the respect and love you genuinely deserve. Thank you for engaging in this thought-provoking discussion. We hope these insights provide valuable perspectives. To help disseminate this information, remember to like and share this article with your friends and followers. Your support is highly valued and enables us to create more content. Stay tuned for additional interesting and educational discussions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest content on various topics and updates. Your participation is crucial to our ability to explore, learn and grow as a community. Until we reconnect, take care and continue expanding your horizons. For additional resources and personalized advice, consider a one-on-one -on -one session or explore our free book. Find the link in the description below. Feel free to share your questions or thoughts in the comments.